Hey guys, and welcome to Petrolped, and welcome to this week's Midweek 180. As you can see, I am back home again this week, but the first thing I have to do is make a huge apology, because for the first time in three years, I missed an upload on Friday at six o'clock. Sadly, I was struck down with man flu on Thursday of last week, and I just, the plan was to film the video on Friday morning, the new uh, car over there, and I was just too poorly. I basically spent the whole weekend in bed, and I still am not great today, to be honest, but I had to bring you my midweek 180, and I've also been filming with this little beastie. This was delivered on Friday. This is an Alfa Romeo Giulia Quadrifoglio. More about that in a moment. Um, and I was that ill, it sat outside my house for two days without me actually driving it. So anyway, if you've not seen one of these before, this is my midweek update where I bring you my news, views and information about upcoming reviews, all filmed in one take. I'm going to put 180 seconds in the bottom left hand corner of your screen. And that's it, a very simple format. So without further ado, let's get cracking with this week's Midweek 180. I shall start my timer. Okay, first comment last week, uh, starting the year off, was the Speed Machine 35, obviously gunning for a new record this year, but whoever puts the first comment this week, I will give you a shout out next week. Let the battle royale commence. Where are you and what you're doing? Well, that was Roger Bailey, who was on a beach in Khao Lak in Thailand. Lucky you, Roger, but wherever you are right now and whatever you're doing, put it in the comments below and I'll give you a shout out next week. Now, last week's question was, would you like me to do another meet and greet? Uh, and the overwhelming response was, yes, absolutely. The good news is I'm doing one. I can't give you too much information at the moment, but I have secured a very, very cool car for you to come and see. And I'm just at the moment talking to a venue about doing a meet and greet that might not be at Goodwood. Um, lots of people said, can you do it a little bit more centrally? So that is my plan, but there's a little bit more to kind of work out and then I will bring you a video within the next week or two about a meet and greet, which is gonna be in March. Um, uh, this week's question is, I just wanna know what you think the most reliable car brand is. I often get comments when I put videos up about brands saying, oh, they're rubbish or they'll break down. Uh, and I don't know, um, I, I just just want to know what your thoughts are. What's the most reliable car brand in your experience? Um, Formula One news this week. I was shocked uh, to see that Ferrari have fired Maurizio Arriva Bene. I quite liked him. He was a bit of a character. He's been replaced by a guy called Mattia Binotto, who was, he's been part of the team for some time. A bit more technical guy. It's interesting to see how that one pans out. Uh, the second E-Prix of the year is this coming weekend on Saturday from Marrakesh in Morocco. Um, it's going to be on the BBC Red Button if you're in the UK. <coughs> And also, there's some quite cool footage this week of the Dakar Rally taking place. Always like watching the Dakar Rally. It's such a shame it's not the Paris Dakar Rally anymore because of security issues. Um, but uh, I think those cars and bikes look wicked. And then new car news this week. I don't know if you've seen the pictures of this. Now, I saw this at Festival of Speed. They, they released the Brabham B62 uh, track only car, 1.2 million pounds, 700 brake horsepower. But Brabham have announced this week that they are going to do a road legal version. It's basically an option you have to spec when you buy the car. It's an extra 150,000 pounds to make it road legal. But I thought that was very cool. Can you imagine driving one of those to Tesco's to do the shopping? Quite scary. And then this Friday's video at six is this magnificent creature behind me. So I've been very grateful uh, this week for Alfa Romeo UK giving me this Alfa Romeo Giulia Quadrifoglio for a week. And I am going to consider this. Could this be my next car? And Friday's video at six is basically me talking through the pros and cons of this car. You may well think it's a bit more than my budget can stretch to, but you would be surprised. Biblical performance, 510 horsepower, all through the rear wheel, 600 newton meters of torque, 190 miles an hour top end. It is a superb, superb car. And that, my dear peddlers, is that. But yeah, you've got to join me on Friday at six for that. I've got a couple of other mega cars being videoed and filmed this week. So some great content coming your way very soon. And you need to keep an eye out for more details about my meet and greet. I hope to have that with you within the next week or two so that everyone can start making plans. But I really hope it's going to be as successful as the last one. But I'm going to draw this video to a close because I feel rubbish and I need to go inside, get a nice warm cup of tea. <coughs> 
I'd cough my guts up probably. But I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have done so, please give me a thumbs up. Comments below are always welcome. And if you haven't done so already, please subscribe to Petroped for plenty more content to come. I promise I will bring you my first drive of the S4 over there. She's looking beautiful. I love her in every way. She does actually start in Friday's video uh, with this very briefly. Um, but you need to tune in on Friday at six for the Alfa Romeo Giulia Quadrifoglio. Could that be my next car? Anyway, I'll see you on that film, guys. You take care. Drive safe.